this video, we'll be going over how to set the various timer functions on the GTNS module. The three options we will be adjusting are the Operations Timer, the Program Timer, and the Call Duration Timer. First, we need to log into the Entry Panel by entering your ID code. In this case, we're using the default code of pound star 1111. When asked to re-enter the ID code, enter star 1111 to confirm the code, and use the down arrow to scroll down to the menu options until you see Set Timer. Press the green bell button to enter into the submenu. The first timer option we can change is the operations timer. If the operations panel is not operated for a certain period of time, the system returns to standby mode. The initial setting is 15 seconds. This timer's range can be set anywhere between 15 to 99 seconds, so enter the desired value using the keypad. In this case, we'll make it 30 seconds. Then press the green bell button to accept the setting. The next timer is the program timer. If an operation is not performed for a certain period of time while in program mode, the program mode will automatically be canceled. The default setting is 60 seconds. It can be set between 30 to 99 seconds. In this case, let's make it 99 seconds, which is the maximum time allowed followed by the green bell button to accept the setting. The last timer is the call duration timer. Calls from the entrance and security guard stations to tenants will expire after a certain period of time. The default setting is 45 seconds and may be set between 30 and 99 seconds. In this case, let's set it for 60 seconds. Press the green bell button to accept the setting, and now Press the red X to exit the timer menu and return to the main menu. Scroll down until you see quit and press the red X to enter back into standby mode. You have now successfully set your three timer options and are back in standby mode. Thanks for watching.